The first episode of the talker anime was nothing that I was expecting. Like, every time I thought I knew something was going on, it just like, boom, the complete opposite. Walter is this belligerent asshole that we're beefing him, but suddenly he becomes the voice of reason. The boy and the girl that's in our group, who seem normal, suddenly start to backstab us. And us, we are this androgynous, femboy-looking dude that has the knowledge to basically be the best, I think. But here's the thing, he's like a talker. He can buff, he can buff, but then he can also kind of strategize. But beyond that, it seems like he's pretty limited. His ceiling of potential will scale with good teammates. And right now, I don't think our teammates are really the important ones. Because in the opening, we see like two separate other characters, right? There's like a tanned uh, girl, and then there's another samurai guy. And those two seems to be the actual important characters. And what we're doing in the, current, in the, in the beginning is just all set up. Let's begin today's reaction. That's the lie. They backstabbed us. We better be hunting them down. Mm -hmm. We bet. Also, these eyelashes are so fucking aggressive. Holy shit. <laughs> I feel like Walter is how we should be feeling right now, but I guess this means that he knows how to get them, and we're gonna like get a revenge. Let's go, Walter. Okay. ロイドがいつ。8時だとさ。程度の門が閉まる直前に夜に紛れ、もう半日以上経っている。本来ならことが発覚するのは昼以降。押すんだよ。通行の記録があるはずだ。問い合わせてどの門から出たかわかれば、
ライトニングバイトが引き受けた。ライトニングバイト。いいけどりで本当に。ライトニングバイト。いいけどりで本当に。ライトニングバイト。いいけどりで本当に。ライトニングバイト。いいけどりで本当に。ライトニングバイト。
だがレッサーヴァンパイアの報酬はどうまたどうすかいや借金の返済だなるほどしたっていうのは嘘だな実際はギャンブルだろ<笑>ディープにギャンブルだ大借金をしたパーティー資金はその部屋が預けた金はギャンブルに消えたのか<笑> Yes, I did! I just wanted the Constellation 6. What's the newest、uh, unit in Wuthering Waves right now? Or Honkai Star? It's been a while since I played those gacha games. Shore Seeker or some shit? <laughs> I spent it all for Constellation 6 and the signature weapon! Oh, he's coming back. Oh, shut up. You're gonna play the fucking victim? It's not like I wanted to use the party's funds? Motherfucker, you got yourself up in a gambling addiction, got yourself in debt, betrayed the party, and now you wanna play victim? Oh, woe is me. No, you did have a choice, and you fucking made it. You chose to gamble, you created this debt on yourself. Don't you dare fucking blame this on us. Why not? Cope. Cope, cope, you're a failure of a leader. You're addicted to gambling. You're literally projecting all of your insecurity. You feel guilty, and that's why you're saying this shit right now. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yo, even Walter is shocked. <laughs> even Walter is shocked. That's the best part. I thought Walter was the unagreeable barbarian that would take things too far, but it's looking like Walter is mostly the innocent one. He's realizing that, you know, this, this guy, he's a demon. And I love this. I fucking love this. He's yapping. <laughs> and this is just a guy. Wait till we get to the girl, bro. Yes! More! More! <laughs> Walter's such a softy, man! I didn't realize what a softy Walter. Damn, he is actually so kind. Walter is such a kind, gentle bear, bro. He doesn't. He's too innocent for any of this. <laughs> even the fucking random NPC shitty, you know, party mates are like, what the fuck is this? Is even too far for us. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Onna. That's right. Gotta bring out the onna for this one, man. Equal rights means equal left. If you're a true proponent of gender equality, you were gonna step on her too. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Welcome to the Champions Club, bro. How many of the characters? There's, there's um, Konosuba, right? Konosuba Kazuma. He does that. Um, recently, we watched Fate Zero. I'm gonna put Kotomu Nikire there because he always says Onna and he loves fucking beating the shit out of Iris Field and, you know, uh, fucking Maya. Uh, Mash? Mash? Muscles of Magic, right? Uh, who else is there? Cautious Hero? Cautious Hero, right? <laughs> Seiya? Seiya will do it too. <laughs> the soundtrack playing right now is fucking amazing, man. Confess. What the f Confess? Okay, this is OP. And the best part is that she's saying this while being in this like confession state. Meaning she truly believes in this. This is not a lie. This is like truly showing you like the gambler's addiction. It's like, come on, man. We're one roll away. We're one spin away from making it big. We're so deep in. Never give up. Never what? Never back down. Never what? Gambling is an investment. Get your lives twisted. You too. Can make everything back with one more spin. Confess. I shall need Shinjizo. She keeps this as a test. Taka, what are you doing? She is shocked at the Sensing Kansho Kano Skiro. Tell 
illegal? You think we give a fuck? Ille you, you, you taking our fucking money and running away is illegal. You think we, you're in any moral high ground right now? That's the funniest shit, bro. It's like people who committed a crime saying, I'll call the police on you without realizing, like, do it. Like, do you understand the situation that you're in right now? I guess that's better than him actually going there and like licking her face with this tongue. Having the imagery with the serpent's tongue is, you know, better. <laughs> I want to kill them. I don't want to pay them. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm a piece of shit. One million? That's one more extra million that I can keep in my pocket if nobody, you know, makes out of this alive. I, I want to kill them, bro. <laughs> I mean, for a person who says he can't fight, that punt was pretty strong. Cardiac concussion. Grandpa taught us skills. I just realized Gramps punched the shit out of this kid and he's in the ground right now. <laughs> Noel, I'm doing this because I love you. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, Grandpa, why would you do this to me? I can't breathe. Noel, I'm doing this because I love you. I don't want you getting yourself killed, so I'll kill you first. Walter, don't give them pity. This is fancy. Theo, Roswell. Yeah, his voice actor is here. The clown. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you see a guy like him, I think I even said this in the fucking trailer reaction, right? It's gonna be Dio's voice actor. It just fits him so well. Any one of these zesty bad guys in anime, it's always him. He's perfect for these roles. <laughs> okay, but the dude's in the right and left. What is this trip? They're both bald, but like, what are these shit? Bro, they're wearing garter belt. This drip is fucking crazy. They're so jacked too, man. <laughs> Luciano family. Luciano family. Mafia. Okay, so hold up. So there's a whole mafia, the Luciano family, and one of their lieutenants is the boss of the Barzini subfamily. That's who this guy is. Barzini. Barzini family. So 10 years of hard labor. He's a very cute, huh? So sell them off, right? Ten years of manual labor. Yeah, easy. I'm all for it. First time where this is not an isekai show, but you know you could assume that it's an isekai show if you it's native isekai because you don't have like the other worlder. But like you know in these kind of fantasy medieval settings, slavery is always a common theme and people are always so against it. But this is the one moment where it's just like, yep, send them to the fucking coal mine. Do you think I care? <laughs> Agree to that? Do Do you think that this is like a a choice that you have right now? Nara, the mines were actually sending into the fucking coal mines, bro. The gulags. Sure. He appraises the slaves. Damn. 
どういうこと、oh, how much they're worth. これが内緒なんだこれを出すのよ要するに贅沢は禁止 What? The church? Well, what? The Holy Cross Church? I'm immediately gonna assume they're bad because, you know, church is always bad in these shows. An ordinance of honorable poverty. A new decree. Interesting. It prevents overspending. The church is beyond the mafia, huh? Okay. This isn't really necessarily about the tax, because if they wanted more tax, then simply spending more money out of these slaves, rather than 6 mil, it could be 10 mil, the, the, you'd have a higher amount of tax that goes to the church. This is an interesting scenario where they're literally just like capping the amount that you can spend for whatever reason. And even the mafia doesn't have control of the church. The church is the biggest mafia of them all. Cute? Yeah. The double -double gun. Fourteen. <laughs> no, he's getting serious. <laughs> Up until fourteen, he was like, oh, oh, wow. oh, hey, 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 stop it. Hey, hey. <laughs> this is a true voice, bro. It's like those fucking uwu voice, fucking VTubers, bro. The, the uwu childlike voice of VTubers. <laughs> Hey, 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 stop it. The voice change is so fucking good, bro. <laughs> Yo, that CGI horse animation went crazy. This is CGI, right? I can't tell, but that idle horse animation was a nice little detail. The bodyguards are looking at each other. What the fuck? Suddenly, we can gaslight about how much it was bought, and now we can artificially manipulate the price like that so that it actually helps him in the long run. That's a good look for them. Yo. This show is so interesting. This show is so captivating and just like, we were literally just yapping, but the whole thing was like, you know, we had a little bit of a revenge plot of chasing these dudes down and showing Noel's whole personality of just being so cruel that even Walter the Barbarian feels like he's too innocent for this. Then we're getting to slave trading and now we're talking about the whole negotiation deal and fucking, you know, like everything about this is just so good it's it's so different from all the different you know fantasy shows like this not a bad deal huh we're gonna keep it silent nope. Okay, yeah, he's back. I love how his true voice came out when he got super pissed off, and now that he's happy, he's all back to cutesy, bro. Oh, silly goose. You'll die. Friend? Get out of here. Sayonara. Beast. No, Walter, look away. Walter, do not be convinced by the witch's desperate last lines. Sayonara. No, Walter. Lady. Okay, this is amazing. The true face is coming out, the mask is off. But you can't say this. You can't just like literally just have a mask off moment and tell Walter that you've been fucking using him as his, like, because he's like your sim. <laughs> Not my poor boy Walter, virgin balls, size of grief. Oh, you getting called out. Walter, get in there and fucking smack her. Damn. Holy 
Fucking shit, what a roller coaster. It reminds me of the casual, um, overly excited fan that thinks that, like, I'm their friend and they show up to a Twitch stream and they start being all annoying. They go from, I love you, you're my favorite reactor, and I say, shut the fuck up, monkey, just watch. And they say, I hate you, I never liked you, your content always sucked, unsubscribe! <laughs> Damn, the insult at the end. Bye bye. <laughs> so fucking bipolar. <laughs> he just, as long as he's happy, he's gonna be all ooh ooh ooh. Got paid. <laughs> what? Kill him then. Worse than the devil. I love this, bro. I fucking love this. The main character is so vile, so evil. And in order to fight against these monsters, right, you need to be a bigger evil than them. Let's go. Poor Walter's traumatized, though. Also, Walter's a virgin with the small size of grapes. Poor Walter. Are Walter's leaving? Last bottle of baby oil? No, Walter's retiring. Walter's not emotionally ready for this. He lacks the resolve. He's way too pure and naive. I don't want Walter to leave. I actually like him a lot. Barta, Come on, Walter. Don't leave me. No. I can't believe I actually got like this much attached to Walter. It's because he was just so honest and himself. And even though he was being an idiot sometimes in episode one, there was also a lot of good moments too where I'm like, yeah, kind of true based. And now he's. He's retiring because he realizes his heart is too kind. Bye, Walter. One last baby oil for me. Oil <laughs> yourself up. <laughs> he does. Wait, what? Really? The blonde girl actually wanted Noel? But Tanya wanted Noel, but Tanya settled for Lloyd. The, okay, so this is even more funnier how, like, Tanya was being berated by Noel back then. Walter's character arc is done, bro. Look at that jawline. Oh, he's... Bro! Isn't this crazy? We're literally two episodes into a new anime. Walter's character arc is completed and I actually care. A tears falling down as he drinks this one last drink for his friend. This is crazy, bro. It's, it's, it's rare to like have a character arc completed this fast, but also to actually give a fuck about the story. Time to find new party mates. Hmm? We're the snake. We're a serpent. You saw the imagery of the serpent, you know, at Tanya. The skin shedding is basically us leaving behind our old party mates. We are now better, stronger. We evolved and the level resets. Let's go, Noel. And that's another episode of The Talker. And. Bro, this is really good. Like, the whole intro of this anime is setting us up with this party that you think is gonna be important, but actually, there's a bunch of traitors. And then also with Walter, right? And now we basically like, we see in this episode how Noel truly approaches things. He is many, many steps ahead. Not two steps ahead like fucking Nikocado Avocado, three steps ahead. 
he even planned the slave traders to show up just in time when we realized that we can sell them out of traders, right, as, as slaves. It was nice to, for him to call out not only Lloyd, but Tanya as well. And Tanya, remember, is the one that actually loved Noel the most. So now, thinking about this Noel, you know, shit-talking Tanya, it makes even, like, it, it's even more just pleasurable in the kind of like lashing out the roast session that we're doing right now. Noel is an absolute demon, a devil, but that's what it takes to like survive in this world. And our grandpa was also, you know, his title had the devil in it. So this is just great for us. We got to know more of like the world building in terms of like there's a church. They sent off this new decree where you have a cap on the amount that you can spend. The whole slave trade industry, the mafia, this dude, Roswell, sorry, Dio's voice actor, amazing shit. And Walter, two episodes in, complete character arc, bro cried and I actually kind of got teary eyed when he drank the one last gulp for Noel. And that's it. We're moving on to a new arc. The story is finally going to begin. I think this is pretty much the prologue. And the snake skin has been shed. We're going to get new teammates that's going to be even more competent. And we're going to do even more heinous shit. That's it for me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.